All right, a quick update on VARA Network. So not really much has changed. Uh, we're looking at the three-day candles here, and we're still holding the three to support. If we go to a smaller time frame and draw Fibonacci, well, I'll just show you. Let's go to the daily chart here. So if we go to the daily and we draw from the low here to the high, uh, that three, two, and that little wick down there, you can see we hit a 618 retracement for a nice bounce at nine six there. But ultimately, we're holding over the 382. We're bullish. We're back testing from that 0.5 rejection. We did wick all the way up to the 161 or the 618 rather at 16. So keeping it that simple on VAR here. Uh, this thing is making higher highs and higher lows. So if we hold the 382, we're looking for a 25% bounce up to 127, and then potentially a breakout over the 618 at 16, and that is a 57% move here. Now, as far as a top goes this cycle i would say a fair price as we could see here let me zoom in a little would be a 1.5 billion dollar market cap up to 370 and that gives you about a 36x from support today and if you think var can potentially hit a three billion dollar market cap which at some point in the future i do think that is going to be the case up to the 2618 that puts you a seven dollar and 30 cent vara 3 billion market cap and almost a 70x from this 382 support level here. So as always, comment down below how high do you think VAR is going to go uh, in the future and in this cycle, and we'll see what happens. But yeah, VAR is a very good play. I think it's going to be a giant here um, that's flying under the radar. So with that being said, not financial advice. Thanks for watching. Good luck, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.